Ever since I moved away from Buenos Aires, I spent a lot more time in self-reflection. Specifically, I often find myself gravitating towards more existential questions. The essential one being, what is the meaning of life? And I'm certain that a lot of you have asked yourselves that one as well. I believe we find a sort of comfort in feeling that what we do has a meaning. It's one of the things that kept me together, at the very least. But I thought about it for a while in those early stages, and I came to the conclusion that life in it of itself has no meaning. Now, I am certain some of you are taking that the wrong way. You're saying, well, if life has no meaning, then what's the point of even trying? What is the point of creating meaningless works and even getting up in the morning? And I understand that because that was what occupied my thought processes for the longest time. I simply stopped caring. I isolated myself from my family, I stopped trying in school, hell, even my all-time favorite hobby, gaming, I stopped enjoying that too. I was in a depressive rut. And so I looked around to see, is this something that other people are feeling? This sense of hopelessness? And my discoveries led to the philosophical doctrine of nihilism, which on the surface level fit me like a glove. Nihilism is the acknowledgement that everything in life has no inherent meaning. And from there, it branches off into multiple different doctrines that we just don't have the time for right now. I, however, found myself subscribed to pessimistic nihilism, which sees life as pointless and then uses that as an excuse to just not care. But I realized later on that this is the worst way to look at it, because true nihilism not only acknowledges the meaningless of not life, but then takes that and turns it into a motivator to do things, rather than a detractor. I should have been using that existential void to, as a fill in the blanks, and then from there create a life that I was content with. So with that fresh in mind, you may be asking, all right then, that's cool and all, but how do I go around finding my own meaning? And that is an excellent question. I'm super glad you asked. It's almost as if I planted it on you with the script. But I'd just like to say that I'm about, I'm about to explain it very simplified, and it's the path that I took. Firstly, you sit yourself down and clear your mind of all other distractions. Set aside some time for this. It's a process not too dissimilar from that of mindful meditation. Secondly, I want you to consider everything in your life right now, whether that be your job, your family, friends, morals, values. What do you stand for? What do you stand against? What is the thing you most prize in this life? Try to find a pattern in everything. Past actions, present actions. And then take that and see if you can turn it into a self-doctrine of sorts. From all of that derive, what is your purpose? I'll share what mine is, at the very least. Right now, I feel that my calling on this planet is to help those that I care about most feel well mentally, especially during times like these and in an era of human history where I feel mental health has become the most relevant it's ever been. What's the kicker in all this, though? It's anyone can do this if they're willing to set aside some time for it. 
Let's be honest, I am no one special by any means. So if some angsty, lazy teenager can do it, then what's your excuse to not at the very least try? Life in and of itself has no meaning. It's a void, we've discussed that. But we've also learned that it's a void that we can then fill to create something truly beautiful to help guide us through this wacky journey called life. In the nothing, we will find everything. But at one point, we will inevitably have to change our meaning. And why? It's because as we grow older, we will see and experience new things. We travel, we'll meet new people, we'll be introduced to new ideas, and then we will sit down and ask ourselves, is this truly what my calling is? Am I being honest with myself? And that is excellent, but it can also be scary. We age, and as such, not just our bodies must change, but our mentalities as well. Once you feel that your current me has no worth anymore, toss it out and find a new one. That's part of the beauty of life, just discovering what it means to you. Hold on to that new meaning until it has no more valuable and then keep going. That is my journey and the beginning of yours, hopefully, to discover what it personally means to be alive. However, I understand if a few of you were as bored as I was in that isolationist period of mine, so I'll sum up this entire talk for you right here, right now. What is the meaning of life? You tell me. Thank you very much.